builder pattern in java so the builder pattern is a creational design pattern is the part of creational design pattern that is used to simplify the creation of complex objects it allows you to create an object step by step it provides flexibility and avoids needing of multiple constructor with different parameters this can be useful when you need to create objects with many different properties or when you want to defer the creation of object until all of its properties has been specified so let us code and see how we can create builder pattern let us create a builder class so i'll create one java class named user and this user class will have a string first name last name integer age and a string email so the builder is when you create an object you do not need to uh, create constructor multiple constructor for all the fields so let's see i have created constructor with all the fields for this user for now and i will create getters for this user so that i can get the value using the user object inside this user class i will create one more static class that is the builder class so let's create the builder class this is inside user class public static uh, let's say user builder is the name of the class so public static class user builder okay so in user builder i will have this is the builder class for user and i will have exactly same variables that i have defined for the user class so i just copy and paste all the variables now here in the user builder class i will have only setters so i will not generate uh, setters i will write the setters why because in every setter i will return user builder object so let's say public user builder first name so i'll just create with the variable name uh, first name and inside this first name method that is actually a setter method i will that takes first name as an parameter and i will set this first name to the current object this object so this dot first name is equal to the first name we will pass into the parameter and then return this so this is the user builder so here every time we are returning the builder object so let's create the same method for all the variables inside the builder class so i will create same for the last name
then for the age so age is integer i'll change it to the integer so this will set the age and return the builder object and finally email so we will set the email and return the builder object okay so in the constructor of user we created a constructor with the, all the field so in the user constructor we will pass builder object so once the builder object will get created it will in turn create the user object so i'll pass the builder object and i'll create user object from the builder so this is in the user constructor so you might have understand this uh, how we are creating the user object now let's go to the application and we'll create user object here so we will create user and let's say user 1 and to create user object we'll use the new user and so user class have public static user builder class so from user we will access user builder okay here it is and from user builder default constructor we will call this uh, first name so here you see we have created user builder object so user builder object we have created and we are setting value into the user builder object so we set first name to the user builder last name to the user builder age to the user builder and then i am setting i will set email to the user builder so here you can see new user dot user builder is creating user builder object and setting all the values to the user builder object and then finally we will use the build method to build the user object from the user builder so i forget to define the build method so let's go to the user class user builder class and here we need to have a build method so create one build method that will return the user object and this build method will return new user so it will create user object here in the build method and it will pass this this means builder object here so that is why uh, we use the user constructor uh, we pass the builder object here now you say like this build will return the user object now we can test this so we can print something with this user object so let's say user one dot get email so i have defined all the getters here so it should print the email id so here it is printed so we do not need to uh, provide value for the each variable into the builder object so let's remove the email here and still user object will be created and email will be null so instead of email let's print uh, user one dot age and it will print age so that is it uh, I, I hope you understand the builder pattern thank you